Let's take a look at exam features in Moodle. Firstly, all of your exams are located in the weeks during which they are administered. All exams are administered on Tuesdays and Thursdays and the exam dates are already available in the class schedule, so plan ahead. Also, all exams are timed, and the timing will depend upon what, how many questions are in the exam. And all of the times are given ahead of time, so all you have to do is open up one of the exams to take a look at how much time you're given for each exam, and you can plan ahead that way. The exams, like I said, are available for 24-hour periods, essentially from 12.01 a.m. until 11.55 p.m. For this exam 2 syllabus quiz that I'm highlighting here on your screen, um, you're given 40 minutes. So if you take, if you open up the quiz or the exam at 10 a.m. and you attempt the exam at 10 a.m., you must finish by 10.40. It is a 40-minute quiz, so you must submit by 10.40. If you're taking the exam later in the evening, make sure that you have allotted enough time to read, answer, and submit the exam before 11.55 p.m. At 11.55 p.m., Moodle will close the exam even if you're in the middle of taking it. So don't take any chances. Take the exam a lot earlier if you can help it. All right, let's take a look at the practice exam I made for the purposes of this tutorial. Clicking on the link to the exam, brings you, it should bring you, there it goes, to a page that gives a little description of the exam and again tells you how much time you have to take it. Um, in the middle of the page is a button that says attempt quiz now. Do not click this unless you're ready to attempt the quiz now. All of the exams except for exam one in this course are to be completed in a single setting. No notes, no reference materials of any kind and in a single setting, sitting. So if you attempt the quiz, you must finish it. Um, if you don't, then um, you're going to probably get just a partial grade. So you need to make sure that you're ready to take the exam. All right, I'm ready to take my exam, so I'm going to click Attempt Quiz Now. And I have a pop-up coming up just reminding me, hey, you're about to start a new attempt. Do you really want to proceed? I'm really ready for this exam, so I'm going to click OK. All right, this is, again, this is just a practice exam that I made. It's only five questions, but I did um, want to make sure that I highlighted the idea of having a multiple page exam. Um, this has unfortunately thwarted some students in the past, so I'm highlighting this for you now. Um, if there are links to other pages, you'll want to make sure that you complete all pages of the exam before submitting your exam. So. Read your questions carefully, read all of your choices, and then choose the answer that best answers the question. I just answered two of the questions on this test. These are not um, interesting questions, just the Pacific Ocean is to the blank of Sacramento. What's the distance from Sacramento to San Francisco? This is just for the purposes of um, practice. All right, I've finished this particular page. What I want to do at the bottom, there are two different buttons. One button says save without submitting. The other button says submit all and finished. I'm not finished with this test. I've just taken the first page. I need to not click on finishing. I need to click instead on save without submitting. This will save my answers so that if anything happens, like a power outage or an internet failure, my answers are saved to the Moodle server. And if something like that happens, I can contact the professor and then start again without having to start over. So I'm going to save without submitting. And I've done so, so I'm going to go on to the next page of the test. What's a Labradoodle? It asks. It's a dog. And you know it's Sacramento when it's hot, tomato trucks are seen, and the state fair comes to town, so all of the choices are correct. Again, I finished another page. I'm going to save without submitting. After doing so, I'm going on to the next page. Last question. It used to be thought that cats were first domesticated in black, blank, excuse me, but new scientific investigations have placed domestication in blank. And I know that they used to be believed to be domesticated in Egypt, but it turns out it was the Fertile Crescent. 
So again, I finished my last page. I'm going to click Save without submitting. Okay, it's done so. And now what I can do is review my test and make sure that I have answered all the questions as I see fit. So I'm reviewing my test once more by going to the previous page links. And I'm finished now. I've reviewed my test. So now I'm going to click Submit All and Finish. And Moodle gives me a warning and says, you're about to close this attempt. You're not going to be able to change your answers. Are you sure? And I'm going to say, OK, I am sure. And then what happens is I get some immediate feedback. For tests in this course, when you're finished, you get your score immediately. When everyone has finished at 11.55 p.m., you will get your score, you will get your answers, you will get the correct answers, and you will get any feedback from me. And then in the next day or two, um, I will give feedback for the entire class. I will also do an item analysis to make sure that the scores are in fact correct and that nothing needs to be changed. And if something needs to be changed, I will make an announcement about that. So that is that for tests. If you have any questions, please post to the Cyber Cafe.